How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. Today we're having a quick look at some shortcuts on your keyboard that'll help you just control your timeline view a little bit better in Premiere Pro, making things bigger, making things smaller, making things fit just right for you. So here we got a timeline. It's not a particularly complex timeline. I mean, it's using, well, it's making use of six video tracks and realistically about four audio tracks. And that's not a problem on this screen because this is a 32 inch 4K screen. So I've got plenty of resolution and real estate. But if I'm on an itty bitty laptop, well, then that becomes a bit more of a problem seeing all of those tracks and I'm having to scroll up and down them. And that's a pain in the arse. Uh, so instead, what you can do is just make use of these handy little shortcuts. Control or Command if you're on a Mac Plus will make all of your tracks on the video track side bigger. Control or Command Minus will make them smaller. So if you need to make things much smaller, you just go for it one more time and it'll give you these tiny little mini, they're like those little Lego pieces, you know, like the, the two ones that you can just like connect, the really thin ones. That's what they look like to me anyway. So that way you can basically half the vertical size of your video tracks while still seeing all of the elements on your video tracks. Now, like the video track, there's also a shortcut for the audio tracks, which is Option or Alt if you're on a PC. Alt minus will make them much smaller. Alt plus will make them bigger. And you can just keep on going till they're huge. Boom. Now let's say that you wanted to do both at the same time. Hmm. Well, instead of control or command or alt or option, just hold shift instead. And shift will make everything bigger or everything smaller. Now, I don't know why, but shift seems to just ignore that initial size, that default size, and it just goes either big, big, big or small. Maybe I'm missing something here. If I am, leave it in the comments below. I'd love an understanding of that because to me, it just seems like it misses this. Uh, default size here. But anyway, I hope you found that useful. I hope it helps you just navigate your user interface a little bit better when you're struggling for space or when you're wanting to see things a little bit more up close and personal. All right, told you it was a short one. Cheers. How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. Today we're having a very quick look at a nifty little sequence of shortcuts on your keyboard. Nifty. Who says nifty? 